Where should we begin? And there you go. How to ground a neutral safety switch. It is very simple, yet very complicating. In other words, it's not that hard. This is for a 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee, or Cherokee 4 liter, or 4 liter equivalent, with the 42RE transmission. This connector here, 1, 2, 3 prong, female end, is a 4 speed 42RE automatic neutral safety switch slash backup lights connector, which has three terminals. It's a female end with the, the one with the wires. The middle one is a neutral safety switch, which is number two. The one on the left is the backup lamp, backup lights, number one. These are not numbered, by the way. The one on the right is a fused ignition switch, or run in brackets, and that's number three. This one here is a 5-speed AX15 standard backup light connector. The one on the left, just like this one, is backup lights, number one, and the one on the right, just like this one, is fused ignition switch slash run, number two. The reason it has two instead of three is because manual transmissions don't come with a neutral safety switch for park and neutral. Since there is no neutral safety switch for the manual transmission, you have to take and ground the one from the automatic or else you will not be able to start the Jeep. Grounding the neutral safety switch completes the circuit which will trick the computer that your Jeep is in park or neutral, which will allow you to start it. Because you have ground the neutral safety switch, making it believe it is in neutral or park, your Jeep will not have cruise control. You should just think of it, if you're on the highway, doing 100 kilometers an hour or 65 miles per hour, and you flip it into neutral or park because you're a teenager and you're drunk, your cruise control will shut off, because you've opened the circuit. To fix this problem, Get any kind of toggle switch and connect it to the neutral safety switch wire. Then all you have to do is toggle on or off. This is where the wire comes into from the switch and this is where it goes to the ground. You feed the wire in here, unscrew the screw, tighten it down on the wire and then put the wire here. Of course the wires aren't connected. Tighten it down on the screw and go to a screw or somewhere that doesn't have paint so it has a good ground. Then all you do is flick off or on. And another cool thing about this is if you hide the toggle switch somewhere in your Jeep, like in the console or uh, uh, under the seat or under the dash or something where it's very hard to see or find but only you know about it, and toggle it off, you can greatly decrease the chances of your Jeep being stolen or taken without your permission. Because if you flick it to off, you're opening the circuit. And remember, if you don't ground it, your Jeep won't start. So by this being off, it's not grounded. Having it on will complete the circuit and will allow you to start your vehicle. And when you want cruise control, just flick it off. And the circuit will be uh, open, which will allow cruise control to work. Because you're not in park or neutral. So if you haven't figured it out by now, you have to discard both connectors and just join the wires. So the wires you join are number one and one, the backup lamps, number three and three, fused ignition switch, and the neutral safety switch you have to ground. It's very simple if you put it that way. Until further news, I shall talk to you later. I'm altering my outro. So, so, until further news, I shall talk to you later. Today is Tuesday, the 8th of May. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to piss around the uh, wiring I just talked about and hopefully start the transmission, putting it up back inside the Jeep or back underneath the Jeep. And on Thursday, I'm going to continue doing that and on Friday, hopefully I'll be rolling my Jeep out of the shop. Also, something that no one else has ever done, clearly or professionally, is take the camera with them and drive with the standard ZJ. There's one video on YouTube, but he just looks at the RPMs and he just goes through first gear, maybe second. It's not very clear at all. 
you don't see them shifting or anything. So I'm going to have a friend in there with me, or maybe I'll do it myself, I don't know. But I'll be shifting through all the gears and talking about it and looking at the RPMs and everything. So look forward to that.